I can't imagine West Berkeley without this clinic. One, because I received such amazing health care here myself, but also because I see the difference that it makes in the lives of our patients. After being a patient here, it's, it's a huge honor to be able to provide care at this clinic and to give back in that way. I feel like I learned the power of, of giving back from a very young age. I was the fifth of six kids, uh, raised in a large family. My mother was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer when I was four and a half years old. Uh, too late to do something, you know, life-saving for it. And um, I also have a sister who was 25 when she was diagnosed with cervical cancer, which she ultimately died from um, when she was 32. I think one of the reasons why I ended up in primary care is really um, wanting to help you know, prevent needless casualties like my sister and my mother experienced. Hello, Ms. James, how are you today? My passion was really for primary care, for keeping people out of the emergency department and also really helping to educate people on how to stay healthy throughout their lives. Have you been doing any of the exercises that we talked yes, about? Yes, I have. Good. And after being an ER nurse for three years, I wanted to take the plunge and go back to school and follow my dream of becoming a nurse practitioner. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so that See, that's, that's simple, right? You don't have to take a pill. Just there something you, you can do just for yourself. Just and that's going to help you for the rest of your life. You keep You're doing right those. about that. I'm really grateful for the nurse scholarship program because it has allowed me to uh, give back to the community that provided such amazing health care for me and to make a difference in the lives of my patients. I'm still in shock that I was awarded the scholarship it's made a huge difference in the life of myself and my family and ultimately the patients that I serve. I really wanted to be part of the solution to the primary care crisis that we have in this country. You know, and also it's, it's something that I wish had been figured out for my mom and my sister. The thing I love most about primary care is that we can focus on prevention. I get to order mammograms regularly. I get to talk to women about cervical cancer screening guidelines. And not only those services, but other preventative health care services. And I, I just am very passionate about that because of the losses that I experience. Let's ask the group, you know, what does, what do high blood sugars put us at risk for? Providing quality care to the patients that we serve here at Lifelong Medical Care is you know, a huge honor and privilege. I believe that healthcare is a human right and that everyone deserves access to really high quality and affordable healthcare. Receiving the scholarship has allowed me to sleep at night. I don't have to worry about, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt. And it's also allowed me to consider the education of my children and saving for their college experience and also their day-to-day -day needs like, you know, soccer practice or swim lessons, piano lessons. I have a daughter, Nula, who's eight and a half years old, and a son, Redmond, who's three and a half. Go away, go away! They are amazing. They're very active and intelligent and creative, and you know, it's just incredible to get to watch them grow up together. Yay! The Nurse Scholarship Program has made my life better, my family's life better, and hopefully the lives of my patients better by allowing me to fulfill my dream of becoming a family nurse practitioner.